Hi everyone, I'm Ashley and I am an inbound marketing consultant and project manager here at Blue Leads. Today we're going to be talking about how to optimize and create um, some kick butt landing pages. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is my um, marketing dashboard portal in HubSpot and this is where I'm going to um, come to create my landing page. So we're going to go ahead and go up to the content navigation at the top of the screen and I'm going to scroll down and select landing pages. Now, once you've arrived at this page, you have a couple of options. You can go ahead and create a new landing page or you can select a landing page that you already have created. In this case, we're going to be optimizing a landing page that we've already created. And that is going to be this, how to get leads on HubSpot in 30 days. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that landing page. Okay, so this is what the landing page looks like. And as you'll see, I have sections for our title, an image, the content, and a form. So the first thing that we'll do is go ahead and input our title. And as I mentioned briefly before, the title of our landing page is going to be how to start getting leads on HubSpot in 30 days. I actually have that taken from another piece of uh, material, so I'm gonna go ahead and input that in the main header section. So I just copied and pasted as you'll see there. There's also options for subheaders. I don't have any of those, so I'm going to save and go to module list, and you'll see that my title pops up there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a landing page image. You definitely want an image because it pulls the reader's eyes in and helps to make your page pop. I will click on my image, and I am given the option to choose an image. You will want to have an image uploaded into the HubSpot file manager prior to creating your landing page. As I mentioned before, the title of our landing page is how to get leads on HubSpot. So I've coordinated the name of that image with the title of our landing page so that I can easily find it. So I've only entered two words and my image has popped up here on the right. I'm gonna click that and select the option to use image. So I'll scroll down here. You can play with sizes here if you'd like. You always want to make sure you have image alt text for SEO purposes. And we'll save and go to module list. And as you'll see, that populates the image over here on the right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this window so that I can see the full screen here. The next step is going to be inserting my page content. And as I said, I'm doing a simple copy and paste because I have the content ready. And when we are talking about content, we want to make sure that our content is sufficient. Um, we don't want it to be too lengthy. Um, we want to use actionable phrases clear and deliverable um, uh, verbiage, and that's going to be um, the, the best way to get the attention of your reader. As you can see here, this isn't uh, too, too much text, and we've got some break in the text here with some nice um, bold fonts. You can play around with, with this, but again, um, just want to make, make sure that there's no navigation to um, any outbound links because we don't want the user to leave this page. The goal of the landing page is to get your user to fill out the form, which is our next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the form. And that pulls my left box up here in this module. I have the ability to edit my form. So I wanna make sure that my form has a title. Our title should be consistent with the rest of the page content. As we discussed, we are trying to um, showcase how to um, get leads in 30 days or less. And this form is going to help our user download the guide. So we want to make sure that that's clear in the title, that if somebody downloads the form, 
this is the result of their action. Next step will be to select the form. You can also add a new form if you like, but I already have a form created. So I'm going to pull that form up by the title that I already know. That's Start Getting Leads in HubSpot in 30 Days. If I need to edit the form, I can click on this button here, which will pull up a new screen and allow me to edit the fields. I can also add new fields and delete fields and um, we can make certain um, items necessary and required and others not. So you can do that right from there as well. Okay, the next step will be to choose what will happen after your user fills out the form. It will either direct to another page or display an inline thank you message. If you'd like to redirect to another page, you need to make sure that you have that URL ready. If you have an inline thank you message, you'll have the ability to fill that out right here. So we can toggle back and forth, redirecting to another page. That's where you'll wanna make sure you put that URL. You can uh, redirect to an internal page, which we're doing here, or an external URL, which you would input here. If you want somebody to be notified when the form has been filled out, you'll want to ensure that that's where you have that email address. And then if you want a follow-up email sent to the person who has filled out the form, this would be where you would do that as well. Select an email address and make sure you select send a follow-up email. There's also the ability to connect these two workflows. But again, we're just doing a simple um, landing page today. so. We've got that all set up and ready to go. If that's the case, we save and go to module list. And I'll go ahead and click out of here so that we can get a nice overview of our page. And as you can see, now we've got our form. The next step is going to be aligning and um, making sure that this page is properly set up and optimized. So we'll come in here. The first thing that you'll see in the settings tab is the internal page name. This is not anything that your public will see, but it is going to help you keep it yourself organized. Um, so you'll want to name this consistently with the rest of the materials and collateral that you have going along with this landing page. The second page title is public, so you'll want to name that something that you want the public to see. It should be consistent with the message uh, that the public sees on the landing page itself. You want to make sure that your URL is in line with that page title and you want to add a meta description. I'll go ahead and type in a meta description since I don't have one. How to get great leads on HubSpot in 30 days. Just as an example, we would want to do something a little bit snazzier than that. If you have a campaign set up, this is where you'd select your campaign. Doesn't look, oh, does look like I have how to get leads set up in 30 days already set up for me. So I've selected my campaign, I have my meta description, I have a URL, a page title, and an internal page name. So my settings look great. At this point, I want to save my work. If I wanna take a look at what the landing page looks like, I can certainly go ahead and preview that. The best way to do so is to click on this little eye over here on the left and open in a new window. And that will give you a nice overview of your landing page. Alrighty, so if you're happy with your landing page at this point, which I am, I think it looks pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and click publish, which will take this landing page live and out into the public. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it to be helpful and that you're on your way to creating some highly converting landing pages.